Hello everyone, welcome back to ThermoWeb's YouTube channel. I'm Rebecca Keppel and I'm super excited to be here today because ThermoWeb has just released some brand new iCraft DecoFoil Unity Toner Card Fronts, which are beautiful card fronts printed in toner that can be easily foiled with deco foil transfer sheets. So let's take a look at these new Unity toner card fronts. That was Holiday Lights. This is Gifts of Plenty. This is Flurry Forest. Absolutely beautiful. There's Ornate Ornaments. And last but not least, Snow Many Flakes. So anything that is black can be a transferred toner, can be transferred deco foils to that toner. Here are some of the deco foil transfer sheets that I'll be using. There are lots of holiday colors available and of course I always love the rainbow shattered glass as well. So I am going to turn these A2 toner card fronts into slimline cards. So I'm going to transfer foil to two of the card fronts. I'm starting with the Snow Many Flakes. Inside the toner pack comes a piece of parchment paper. I cut mine in half so that I could do two of my cards at the same time. And I'm putting the foil sheet with the color side facing up. With the silver, that's the brighter side. I put that inside the parchment paper sandwich and with the folded edge inserted into my laminator, which has been heating up for about 10 minutes, I let that go through the laminator. And once that's done and they are cooled, then you get to do the fun peel and reveal. Oh my gosh, I love these gold trees and the little snowflakes in the flurry forest. This is the one that I covered with the rainbow shattered glass. That's holiday lights there. Absolutely beautiful. Look at all that shine. I just absolutely love these toner card fronts because they're super, super easy to create really beautiful foiled backgrounds. So we're going to get even a little crazier here and we're going to ink blend on top. So I have the Flurry Forest toner card front and I'm going to blend on top of it with Distress Oxide ink, which is really easy to do because those toner card fronts are on a nice smooth cardstock and the ink blends beautifully on top, especially Distress Oxide. Now I'm going to put a little bit of chipped sapphire right at the top there and look at how those gold snowflakes really pop off that background. I absolutely love this look with the gold and the blue. So remember I did two of them so that I could uh, put them together to make a slimline card. Going to do the same thing with the snow many flakes, only this time I'm blending with pink. And then I'm going to cut these down to about three and a quarter width so that I can put them on a slimline card with a border around three sides. And I'm just going to cover up the seam between the two pieces with just a little um, zigzag border die cut of some glitter cardstock. Now I am going to put some anti-static powder tool right on that ink blended card front and I'm going to use Unity's stamps to stamp and heat emboss a sentiment that says holly jolly and I'm just going to melt that with my heat tool and I love this look between the pink and the silver. I'm going to make it pop even more. I'm going to use some ultra bond liquid adhesive to adhere some little enamel dots there that don't have adhesive on the back. There are these just shiny silver uh, little droplets there. So much fun and the liquid adhesive is perfect for that. Again, I cut down the two tree toner fronts and I am going to heat emboss a sentiment in gold embossing powder that says let it snow from Unity. And I actually die cut that sentiment out with a ThermoWeb tag die. And so now I'm going to put the two card fronts together on a slim line background there. And to adhere them, I'm just going to use some ThermoWeb Memory Runner XL, which is one of my favorite tape runners. I love the XL because it sticks really, really well. Just going to buff off some of that uh, anti-static powder that I used there. And then I'm going to use a couple of pieces of foam tape to pop that up right over the seam so that it really doesn't matter at all that it's in the background there. 
So that's the second card that we're going to do today. For the third card, I have that rainbow shattered glass on top of holiday lights. I am going to stamp kind of a band of white cardstock with one of the Unity sentiment stamps, and I'm going to stamp it in wilted violet so that it really kind of goes along with the colors. And then I'm just going to trim this down. So the width is the same as the slimline card that I'm creating. And now I'm going to piece everything together. So again, some of the Memory Runner XL behind that Unity card front that I cut down to about, I think it was three and a half this time, the width. And, and I'm going to put the other one right on top so that it continues all the way down to the end of the slimline card there. And then I'm going to cover up that seam in the middle with that little band of the sentiment that we created. I'm not going to use foam adhesive this time. I'm going to use the Memory Runner XL once again and just cover up that seam with the Happy Holidays sentiment. And then this time I'm going to use some uh, rainbow colors of enamel dots that are just peel and stick from Waffle Flower to complete this card. And I did add a couple of little uh, glitter cardstocks behind the band there just to make it stand out and pop. Now I'm gonna use that same tape runner to adhere these card panels down to white slimline card bases. And that's it for these guys. Super, super easy to take those A2 panels, foil them up, either ink blend them or not, and then cut them down. As long as you use two of the A2 panels, you can easily create a really beautiful foiled slim line card. And I love all of these designs. I love how much they really stand out with the ink blending, but you don't have to do ink blending if you don't want to, and how great they look, whether you're just creating a regular A2 card or like this, you're creating slimline cards. So if you're interested in checking out any of the supplies that I used today, including the new Unity toner card fronts and all these different designs, all of the products will be linked down below. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today, and I hope you have a wonderful day.